So let's look at Blowfish. Blowfish is a private key and exception algorithm that was created by Bruce Nair in 1993. It uses a 64-bit or 128-bit encryption key and typically deals with block sizes between 32 and 448 bits. It's a standard private key encryption method where we use a standard algorithm and we encrypt with a private secret key and then we can send the ciphertext over and then the same key is used to decrypt on the other side. And this is described as symmetric encryption where we use the same key on the other side and it's similar to uh, methods such as RC2, DES, 3DES and so on. So the key size that we have uh, D defines the number of p possible keys and the more keys that we have the more difficult it gets to crack the code with brute force. Uh, the examples we'll be looking at are 128 bit encryption which makes it almost impossible to be able to crack the code, the key, within a reasonable time frame. It uses um, as a block cipher so it takes blocks one at a time, takes the plain text, splits it into blocks and then encrypts each block into a cipher block and creates a completed cipher block with the cipher blocks. What we get is what's called an electronic code book where we take each block and we encrypt it with the key, same key in each one. In the following example, we'll use some salt to use an initialization vector. So let's have a look at our example. Okay, so we've got some, we've got a message, and let's put in a key. Generate the blowfish. So in this case, uh, we're using a bunch of castle. I've used a, a wrapper here to be able to get access to. fairly simple. Uh, so this is the wrapper that I'm using. You can see it uses uh, Bouncy Castle as its main cipher block. And this is the part that's going to encrypt using our, our text and our key. Okay, so we can see there, there's the cipher stream, there's the base64, and it's managed to decrypt it. In a for example, we'll use this the CBC to be able to uh, change the cipher text. We can see if we if we keep trying this, then we will always get the same cipher text. which really isn't very good because an intruder could copy and paste this they could find out the thread related to that uh, and, and so on. So this is weak in that we get the same cipher for each uh, each of the keys that we actually use. What we need to do is to add some salt to the encryption. <coughs> 